Okay, everybody, I'm right here on BD Square, right off from uh, Market Street, West Market Street. But look at that, in front of this house, BD Square, and uh, off of Danbury, right up yonder. Look at that. I mean to tell you, boy, it just took that tree right up. Roots and all. Hmm. Got that in the road. Thank God it didn't land on no house. And look at yonder. That's another one failed. I don't know the name of that street. It runs out to uh, Whitner. Look at there. He missed the house. A bunch of them, though, landed on houses. It's going to take a while to cut that bugger up. I know there'll be a lot of firewood this year, won't they? <laughs> People are using their fireplace. Okay, this is on Mon Monroe Street, right off of Whitner and Market. That's those apartments there, but there's another one fell. Huge. These ain't no little trees here, y'all. Take it right out of the ground. And you can see it went across the road there. That's the other part of it over there. I'm going to tell you they did some cutting to get that out of the way. Okay, we're right in front of the Heather, Heatherwood, yeah, that's what that says, Heatherwood Apartments on uh, Witness Street and I Street. Look at there. There's another huge one. This the city of Anderson, there's one that fell in front of this house on Whitner Street. Another big one. Yep, this is on Whitner Street here in Anderson, South Carolina. Okay, this is on F Street, the number for the letter F Street on the mill village over here. Look at that. Just got the edge of the roof of the porch. Look at that. This is on the corner of King and F Street. <clears throat> Okay, we're right here off of I Street at the Mill Village. Look at that. That's a huge one. I mean to tell you, that's a big one. Right in front of that house. Uh, uh, that was Boston Street that that was on. Boston Street off of Jackson. And we're here on Jackson and Fletcher. This is Jackson Street, y'all. Look at here, right here on the corner of Fletcher and Jackson. Look at that, what a huge one fell. That's probably about the biggest one today I've seen. Right across Fletcher Street, look at that. That had to be a hard wind to bring that bugger up. Ain't no tell how many days it's going to take to get that cut down.
I'd say with a crew of five men, at least a week. Unless they fast. <laughs> This is right here on Jackson Street in Fletcher, on the corner. See there, Fletcher? Yep. And that gun right there on Boston is the other one I just videoed. Come right up a little river, look at that. A little small creek. Okay, this is up here off of uh, North Avenue. This is on Frederick St Street. Fredericks, yeah. Look at there. Now this is landed on the house. Looks like it's on the edge there. It did, it did some damage. It landed on top of the house. Oh, I was wrong there. One of them goes up there on top of the house. Look at that little tree. Fredericks Street off of North Avenue, right above Lindley Park up in here. Look at that. That's going to need to be repaired big time. I don't think nobody got hurt the way it looks. Hope not. It's a big one. We're on Lakeside Drive next to Broadway Lake. Trees fell everywhere. In a circle right here. I'm gonna go around and come back out. See if the tree fell down right under, nobody could get out that lives down yonder. They don't, this is the only outlet. That's the render circle. Let's see. In other words, see right here, if it was a tree across here, they couldn't get out if people lived down here. Yeah, the power. See, here's how they're going up under the line. That's one rooted up. What? It's leaning, I know. It's going to finally fall, too. That's a new house they're building. I didn't know this building. Like it done some damage to the front of it. Uh oh, something going on down here. What does that say? Loose gravel. That water's muddy. Why they put loose gravel on this road? That don't make sense. Yep, look here. Look at that. I don't know if I can get by that or not. Nope, can't get by that. I don't think, can I? Mm-mm. Nah. This is Serena Circle. I'm 
pretty sure there's two down on this road, I think. Let's see if they don't got them cut up. Nope. Look at that in the middle of the road. Look at that. And boy, if that landed on your car, it, it, if it didn't kill you, it hurt you real bad. That's one in the guitar player's home. Look at that. Root it up. Look at see? Okay, we're on Broadway Lake Road. Over here next to 413. That's one failed. That's a big one down. Look at that. Right here at McFalls, pretty close to McFalls Landing. Two of them fell. That's another one, failed. Turn it on McFall Circle. Let's see if there's anything down here. I'm pretty sure there's one in. Probably yeah, there. Yep, something failed. Look here. Oh, a tree right there. Look. Look at it. They ain't got no power. Look. Uh -uh. Look at that. Why don't you look at that, y'all? Right on the power line. Uh -huh. That's where my aunt used to live. Look at that. Power lines down, look at there, laid in on the ground. One fell there, they don't cut it up. See there? Right here. They don't cut it out of the road. Can not tell? Somebody must have come down. Look at there. Look at there. At least they come down and cut it out of the way like, like we did. And buddy, they'll fall right now. They just because some just because it's gone, don't mean they, they won't continue to fall. Like, like, like that one right there. See right yonder? Mm -hmm. It's leaning. Let's yeah. hurt and get out of the way. If that thing falls on you, you're gone. I know. Oh, Lord, look at here. That's that same trouble over yonder. See, what people need to do is get out here and move out of the way. That lives here. See all that debris? Got to turn around right yonder. I know that's in the road yonder, ain't it? Way down yonder. Yeah. I don't want to go under that. Mm -mm. Go down and turn around. Yep. Why don't you look here, folks? This is McFall Circle. They cannot get out. That is a huge tree. Uh, two of them. Ain't that two? Look at that. So that fence up right there, it looked like they just built it. Look at that. Uh -huh. That fence landed on it. If that light right there landed on your car, you'd be gone. That's gonna take some time to get that one down. <laughs> Look at that. That's gonna take half a day with about five guys cutting on it. Ball circle, so if it, if y'all see this video, don't come down here within about another two or three days. I know, it's all the way down there. Still on McFall Circle, look at that. Gotta go around. That's hope it didn't land on nobody. We right here on Guest Drive, right off of McFall Circle. Look at that, that's one. Thank God it ain't a big one. There you go. Got the whole street covered up. Oh, 
circle. That's the power down. Look at that. Okay, that's that's White Street at Broadway Lay. Look at there. Don't you look there? If you've been sitting there in a the car waiting on them to go, you wouldn't have made it, folks. That's right there, White Street and, and Broadway Lake Road. Right here, right here, four way. What three way? Look at there. S somebody out there got stuck, didn't they? Trying to go around it. Ooh, toward them people's yard, that too, boy. Okay, folks, look at there. We're on North Main here. Up here next to McDougal's, look at there. Almost, it missed that house, look at there. Can you believe that? It missed that house. That big old brick house there, two-story. Oh, that's a business, okay. Look at there. Landed in the front yard. Wasn't that guy, look at there. Missed it. Boy, I bet they proud. Can't tell you, they happy. Look at that, McDougal's, y'all. McDougal's funeral home, look at that, rooted up. Take we going, me? yeah, we going down here next to where my daughter works. Uh, we need to stop. That's McDougal's. Look at that. Yep, right here's where my daughter works. Look at that. Lindley Park. Thank God there wasn't no car there. It didn't land on nothing, that's good. Right there. Look at that. Rooted it up. What's the name of this street? James. James Street. Look down the road. Ooh, up here right above Lanley Park. Uh oh. Look at that. Oh my lord, right here. Oh, look at that. Jesus. Won't you look at that? But I bet you they got it cleared out where people can get by there, ain't they? Oh yeah, see yonder? Mm -hmm. Yep. Gotta turn around. Yeah. Gotta take a left up here. Hopefully there's a road and go to the left. Yeah, fam. No. Mm -mm. Gotta turn around. Look at that, y'all. Got to turn right in the middle of the road. What's the name of this street? Mm -hmm. Look at that. It landed on that house yonder. Mm -hmm. One landed on top of that house. Look at that, rooted up. I was thinking there's a street right here. There is, but it's in the road. I know. It's just right above Lindley Park. Oh Look at that, landing on top of that car. Sure did. Can't get out. We were just on Watson Avenue, right off the North Avenue is where we was at, tree down. So, so don't go up Watson. You say there's some down on Brakeley? Mm -hmm. I say there ain't no car coming, you can go. I mean, you can't turn there. And they got that block right, look at that tree there on the house. It landed on that house. Thank God it didn't, it, it, it's not really on it hard. Tore the cement up, look at that. Mm. Look at that, tore the cement out of the ground. God. We're on Blair Street, look yonder, right in the middle of the road. Look up yonder, y'all. This is right off of Lindley Park Road, North Avenue. Blair, no Blair Avenue, I guess. Look at that. Seems like we've been on every street. That's one, ain't there? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm. We'll take a right here. Turn right here on Martin Avenue, see if anything's down here. 
I bet you money these people on this street got chainsaws. Oh, look at that. Tore that house up. Look at that, Joe. And the car. Look mm -hmm. yonder. Martin Avenue, that's where Janet used to live right there. Look at that. Tore that car up in the roof of that house. Yeah. Look at that, that's two down right here. Mm -hmm. Somebody been here with a chainsaw, got it out of the road. Look at that. See that? You can tell they yeah. cut on it. Somebody down with a chainsaw got that done. Look at that. Um, this is Bozeman Avenue. Bowman. Bowman. Look at that. On Bowman that tore the man's fence up. Look at that. Big tree. Mm -hmm. Pecan tree. Look at that. Right across the road, right across from Concord Baptist Church. I don't know the name of this road, but right across from Concord Baptist Church. Somebody got up here and did what we did. With a chainsaw. Look at that. Missed that house. Look up yonder, Young's and Noble. Look yonder. This is King's Road, what this is. Jeremy, I'll have to get you something at Walmart because he went to Yeah, we on, we on King's Road. Sorry. Look at there. That coming come across. Somebody got it here with a chainsaw and, and uh, got it out of the way. Somebody's got a chainsaw did that. Look at there. Somebody got it here and cut that out of the way. Right there. Yeah, and thieves crossed the road. They somebody with a chainsaw, Liz ran, did that. Anderson County, they didn't do their job. Even the governor, oh, we prepare for this storm. We're gonna have men out there taking care of the trees, power lines, and everything. No, you didn't, you failed. We had to cut our own. My son-in-law and the neighbor up the street and us and other people got, got it cut out of the way so we can go. Let us down, Governor McMaster, I think that's his name. Okay, folks, I'm here at my sister's house. Well, she, not her house, but she rents these houses out. Look at that. That's one that fell, and then we got another one that fell over on the house yonder. She rents these uh, houses, all these houses out. She lives across there. Anyway, look at that. See that tree fell. And then the one that fell on top of the house, they don't cut it down. Right below Eddie's minute mark, off of 28. Look at that. That's right below Eddie's minute mark. Look at that. Pull it up. That's another one. Look at that. This one's right in there. the road. Yeah, that one's in the road. Look at that. At least they can get by. It's imagine if you're coming down here through here at night and didn't see it, you'd run up on it and hit it. that back there. Look at that, another two. I that, missed, was in, that was in the road. That was straight in the road. It's in the road. Yeah. Look at that, y'all. South McDuff Extension. Don't come this way. See, they need to be out there right now cutting them down. Look at that. Don't you look. Golly. <laughs> what is it, one? Two. Two. Somebody got ahead and cut that one. They must have got tired and couldn't do the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Yep. My goodness. They're building two new houses there here on Lakeside Drive. Side by side. But look at the tree fell on the back of that one. I don't think I don't want to buy that house. They ain't got them built yet. Lord have mercy. I know one thing, they've been working a long time on them. I feel it's a golf course where we live. Boy, look, you know, one fell. Let's see if they got the trees out of the way down here where we live. We had to get down here last night. Me and my son-in-law and, and our neighbor, 
it took us about three or four hours to put just a pass so we can get out from down here because there ain't no outlet. They had us all blocked in. I know. I know, Joe. Must be, you know, that set new house there. They don't, they don't got it off the house. Huh? I thought it was right here. Yeah, there it is. Wasn't they lucky, Joe? Yeah, that ain't the one on the roof. But look, look how lucky they were. Oh, I see it. Didn't hit their house. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's like, that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. They lucked up there, buddy. Oh, look at that right yonder. Mm -hmm. Rooted up. They're getting ready to build all these houses new down here, so that's one tree they ain't got to worry about rooting up. <laughs> look at that. Right here at the golf course. Look at that, that's another one rooted up. All these will be new houses all the way down through here. These houses start at $450,000 a piece. Unbelievable prices they're getting on houses. New houses. They still down here working, that's good. These houses right here are 450000 a piece. It's unbelievable. Now they're down here. Hope we can get by. I bet you money we'll have to park this car and walk on. I hope not. No, that's right, they let them go. Thanks to you. I wish I had a remember the streets and everything. Yeah, that was a little See that? Now I'm going to take a right and go around. See, David, uh, Devin and them come get that come job. Come get that one. Just knock on the door. Right. Let me tell you what I can do. If they don't want to do it, if they'll let me know they want to do it. Mm -hmm. I'll get my car, but I'll, I'll knock on the door and just say, hey, I sell carports and garages, but I'm here for my son-in-laws. They both of them can cut trees down and they're, I'm getting them jobs up. Would y'all be interested in them doing y'all's just getting, getting, it, getting it cut up? Because the county and city won't cut it up. Oh, we don't found that out. How much would you charge? Mm -hmm. I say, well, I got to take a picture. It might be an hour or so before they get back with me. I'm just going around. Let me take a picture and then uh, give me your phone number and I'll call you back and tell you what they're going to charge you. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, great. See, they probably yeah. can't get nobody. Everybody's busy. Oh, I know. Got me? That's all the tree companies, all the tree companies are busy. They can't oh, yeah. get right on them. A week or two behind. Mm-hmm. I bet you right now I can stop giving people a card and say, "Hey, I got brother-in-laws that's cut down. They cut down trees. If you see anybody right here, and I know they know people. Mm -hmm. So if you wouldn't with me, I'd stop right now and give them people my card. Now I sell carports, but they do trees. Mm -hmm. They are right now cutting trees off people's property." Oh, really? We'd love for them to do ours if they can get to it. See, that's how it works. Yep. Yeah, give them my car. They'll check my ass out, probably. Let them check me out on the internet. That's fine. I'll even tell them when they, when they give a damn paper. Yeah, I know. Look at that. I didn't what? see the name of the road, though. Oh, sorry. Right. We'll get down here. Look at that. They had to get that down out of the way for people to get around. Look at there. See, it went across. It went across. Uh -huh. They had to cut it down. We up here in North Anderson, right off of Fan Street. I'm gonna get down and try to find out the name of this road. Once again, I ain't never seen so many trees fall down in my life. That was a rough storm. Did you say there's another coming? Yeah, this is Friday. Talk up with it again. Yeah, they said Friday. This Friday. That's what they said. This one is on Shannon Way. There it is. Down in ways where that's at. This is on Berkshire Hill. Spell that for me. B e r k s h i r e. Lane Hill. Right off the fan. Look at there.
They tore that roof up pretty good. Look at that, rooted up. This is on College Avenue, look at there. Up here, right above the hospital, College Avenue. Right in front of Cater's Lake, look here. A pond, whatever you call it. That one fell, didn't hit the road though. That there's right across from the lake. Cater's Lake on Greenville Street. Look at that. Look at that. There's about three trees fell there. Look at on the hill. See over here? Yeah. All the way over, there's three or four trees that fell there. Okay, we're on Hawatha Drive. That one's fell. Look at that in, the, in, the, in their yard. I mean driveway. Hey Lucky. That's, that's that's part of the tree there. It come across the road. There it is. And there's that's where it started. Here's another one on Hawatha Drive. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's on Hawatha. Yep. I believe that's the name of the street. Yeah, it's College Avenue. College Avenue. It wasn't Hawatha. Hawatha must have been the other street. Let's see, that doesn't want to look like it's failed. Yep, they don't cut it up. They must have their own chainsaws. No, it ain't. That's the damn blower. I thought that's a chainsaw. All right, this one up here, right here, off of North End. Come across Bellevue. Take a right, and here it is. Look at that. I'm telling you, that is unbelievable. That had to be an awful, awful storm. I ain't never seen a storm that strong to Knock all these trees down in Anderson. Look at that. It, you could probably put a dang bulldozer with a chain around it and still couldn't pull it down. That tells you how strong that wind was. Yeah, we're up here on Little Creek. Little Creek Drive off of Bellevue. Little Creek. Look at that. Landed on that house at the back end. On a little creek drive. Okay, we'll be at Wendover in Northampton. This is on Wendover Way. Look at that. Look at that pretty little pond. One fail. What was this? Wendover Way? Mm -hmm. Up here across Bellevue. Let's see what else is down here. Yep, Wind, Wendover Way. Has one fail? I bet you every city and county in the South. Had the same damage. And anybody out there that's got one in your yard, you can't get it out, give me a call. I've got two son in laws that can do it for you. They got the chainsaws and they bundled. 864 296 3202. And we'll get them over there and get your tree out of your yard. They'll get them cut down and hauled off. They're out there right now doing them, but we can get you on the list to get yours out of your yard. 
This is up here across from those ponds next to Wendover. Look at that. It missed the house, thank God. Two of them fell, look. Mm -hmm. Two trees fell, look mm -hmm. up here at the driveway. That's one that fell, and then that one. Well, we see you. This is uh, Northampton and Lindale, the corner of Northampton. That's one in their yard. Okay, we're, we're still right here on the corner. Look at that. Unbelievable. What was the name of this road? It got them real good. Mm -hmm. My goodness. right down in the front yard missed her home. That is a miracle. Look at that. Fell across the road. Look at that. Two trees. Listen, wait a minute. One, two, three. Three trees fell there. That's one. And one on top of that one. And then there's another one. That's a huge one. That would have crushed the car right there. Killed you if it landed on you. And then there's four. Oh, one up yonder. Look at there. Oh my goodness, it hit real bad here. It missed her house. Ain't that amazing? That's the worst one I've seen so far. It's on Woodfield Drive and Canfield Road. Right here on the corner. That's the worst one I've seen. But it didn't tear up no house roof. But I've never seen that many in one yard. Yep, still on the corner of Woodfield and what is it? What did I say it was? Centerfield Drive, yeah. Woodfield and Centerville, look at that. Boy, they lucky. They are very lucky. Uh, yeah, we're still on Woodfield. Why don't you look up here, folks? This is Woodfield Drive. Why don't you look here? That, that's the worstest yard I've seen right there on the corner. Now look at here what happened to this one across the street. It caved the whole back of the house down. Look yonder. I just hope he wasn't a bedroom. Why don't you look at that? It took the whole side of that house off. Let me get a pencil if I can see you better. Look at that. See the brick, the back of the house gone? That is unbelievable. Hope nobody got hurt. Right, here's one up here in the road. Don't you, oh, look. Look at that. He went on top of the house. Got the back and the front. It is unbelievable. See, he's taking pictures now. Look at there. That house is demolished. It got the whole back end of that house. Another tree is on the back of that one. And it got the roof of that one. You can bet that whole roof there is going to have to be redone. This is the worst area I've seen hit out of all the ones I've been to. Got that and across, cut up yet there across the road. Let's see ya. This is about the worstest area I've seen yet, right in here. Up here, across, well, way above uh, and may it appear off of. Lindell. Uh, we're with Cal Rosie, C A L R O S S I E Road, North Anderson.
Look at that. Fell in their front yard. Yeah, they're going to do it themselves. Yeah. See that lumber in mm -hmm. the wood? We're going down Thornhill, Thornhill Drive off of Concord, right above the church here. Let's see if there's any down here. Yep. Ain't that one right there down? They cut it out of the way. See this, mm -hmm. They done cut it down. See all that lumber right there, that wood? Mm-hmm. As people's got fireplaces, man, they... Look at that. That one fell right in their yard. It's a big old stump right there, but it's gonna take somebody knows what they're doing to get that thing cut up. Look at that. It fell across this road. Oh yeah, there's another one fell across the road. There it is. Lord, I'm hoping nobody didn't get hurt. They built us a new house there. Look at what a big house they're building. Lord have mercy. Now just because these trees are falling. There are going to be many, many more falling. It might take six months before they fall, but they're going to fall because of the storm because they're sitting there ready to fall. They're loosened up. That storm got them shook up. Look at there. Here, y'all, on both sides, with the limbs and brushes blown away. Look at that. That's another tree they cut down. But done got it hauled off. There's some pretty houses up here. Look at that. Ain't that pretty home? Pretty homes. Look at that. That's one field. That's one field. Here's one down right off of South Main. Look at there. We're at the corner of Guy Street and Todd Street. Look at there. Well, that went over quick, didn't it? They wouldn't be a part of a period, Melinda. Seems like every time I come upon a tree, here comes a bunch of cars. Any other time, there wouldn't be a car around. Look at there. Thank God it didn't hit no house. What did I say the name of this street was? Guy and something? Right here off of McDuffie in South Maine. Been down the other day. Mm -mm. Look at there, y'all. Mm -mm. Look at there. Right out the ground. Right here on South McDuffie. Oh, that's another one. Uh-oh. You kidding? Look, got, look at that. Got you blocked in where you can't get out. Mm -hmm. Why don't you look at that? Now, they did that for me. That's why they do that. Look at that tree there. Okay, right there is Hammett Street. Look at that tree all the way across the road. That's another one down. Look at that. Find that house. Oh, we're getting ready to turn on the prints. This is... I don't see nothing down on Prince Street. All right, here's where I live down at the lake. Look at that. We just got me and David and uh, Tim and us, Kerry, we cut all that up. There's, there's four trees across the road right here on Van, uh, Van Wood and Carpenter. Down here at the golf course. Look at that. Big trees. 
four of them all the way across. That's, there they are, there they lay. One, two, three, four, there they are. Five, I guess, wasn't it? I'm getting them, yeah. Look, see the cable? That's your, ca that's your cable, that's for your internet. Look at that. Unbelievable. Out of all my life, I've never seen a storm like this. Never. Hey folks, I'm down here on Myers Road, next to Williamson Belton area. Look at there, going across the road. The man behind me said, everybody's been going under it, so I guess I'm going to go under it on my motorcycle. <laughs> See, here I'm on my soccer today. Look at there. He says cars have been going under it. So, pray for me. Here I go. Okay, we're over here on K Street in Belton. K-A-Y Street, Belton, South Carolina. Look at there. That is on top of that house. So let me go get a other view. Right on the top of the house. And they're going to keep falling. People, they're going to, just because the storm's over with a little bit, they'll still fall up to six months to a year because they're already loose and they're ready to fall at any time. That high power wind loosens them up and they're staying, but when they have a, when we have another bad uh, storm, that's when they can really come. But be careful of trees because they can fall at any time. Okay, folks, I'm down here where I live at Broadway Lake. That tree there just fell. Uh, if you all know, Broadway Lake right over there is uh, Bill's Landing and the bridge over yonder. But right across the street is that big brick house that happened right here. Don't you look at there. If you're standing over at the bridge and look straight across, it's the big long brick house and I'm in, I'm in the back of it. Well, front of it, I guess. All right, there's another one right here at Broadway Lake. Look at there, pecan tree. That's a huge one too, buddy. Thank God they didn't fall on no house or no car or nobody. That thing is huge. I said I can't. I know the name of this street, but once I get around it, I'll, I'll tag this street. But it's uh, down here off of Lakeside Drive. Come all the way down the lake side, come around, you'll find it. But anyway, there it is. Two big ones fell right here. Side by side, that lady's up under. The one I just got. 126. Lord. There's another one down on Lakeside Drive. Going down to the lake. Look at that. It would just come right up out of the ground. Mm. Lord, I had to be a hard storm. Unbelievable. We're right here on Carpenter Road at the golf course near Broadway. Look at there. It's a brand new $450,000 home. Thank God it missed it. Just come in the front of it. On Carpenter. It's on Carpenter Road. Look at that. Can't believe these trees don't have real deep roots going in into the ground deeper than what I see there. I, I'm surprised these trees are blowing up because they ain't got no roots holding on to them. Look at that. About six inches thick, then it, then that's it. A little bitty roots, look at that. Shoot, they need to get out here and anchor these trees down, don't they? But uh, this is Carpenter Road right here at the golf course. They're building houses all the way down through here. And uh, I'd say in about two years there'll be houses. Well, they're getting ready to build three right here. 
and you come around the first curve and there's that tree. Pine Lake Golf Course. Man, that is over that complete house or just about. This is on Westview Avenue here in Anderson, right off of West North Street, right above Lindley Park. Don't you look at that. There's the route and look at there. Went over the complete house. And you know they're gonna have some money to pay out. Mm. Look, they got insurance. There you go. Okay, we're on Boundary Avenue, right above Lindley Park here. I want you to look at there. That's a huge one. Thank goodness they missed the house. This all the way across. It landed on those other folks from over there. Oh, you can see that. All the way out to the road. That is a huge tree. Man, if that landed on that house, it would have crushed it. That's a huge one. Right here above Lindley Park on Boundary. Mm -hmm. Okay, right here at Edge, Edgewood and Boundary. Right above Lindley Park, there's one down, all the way up from the ground up. Right from Boundary Street all the way over, there's one down up there, another one, two up yonder. And he hit hard up here, down North Anderson, right above Lindley Park. Still on boundary, and here's another one. Look at that. Right up from the ground. This is up here near Boundary, right above Lindley Park, Edfield. That's a long Colorado all the way across the road. Transformer right on the ground, look at that. Be on the edge field. Now right above Lindley Park, look at there, tore the whole roof off on the right side there. And in the front, pine tree look like. They're right on top of it. They wouldn't so lucky. Edgefield hit pretty hard at Edgefield here. Okay, we're right here on Snipe Street, right off of Edgefield. Look at there. Tore the swing up and everything. That's a huge one, too. Right here on Snipes, off of Edgefield. Okay, we're up here on Moultrie Park area. Right off of North Main, look at there. 
what a huge tree went down and went across and missed that house, which is a good. Looks like somebody trimmed it up pretty good, but they still got a good ways to go. Moultrie Park area off of North Main. Okay, I'm up here at Glendale Road in Camfield, right here on the corner. And uh, there's one fell right in front of this home. Uprooted. There's uh, one thing I can't believe. I, I, I ain't never noticed this or recognized it. But most of these trees don't have many roots attached to them. So they're just barely sitting on top of the ground <laughs> from what I can see here lately. Look at that. I don't know if that's a new trend or how they're growing or what it is. But you would think it would be roots way, way, way down in the ground that holds the trees up. Evidently not. There's another one right below this one. Look at that. Thank goodness it missed the house. Landed in the road. Look at that, y'all. Came flying down toward the road. And you see where they cut it all down. Look at that. the street right on down the street look at that I mean to tell you boy it hit good in here somebody been out here doing some cutting across the road look at them on the side of the road it looks like one two three hit the fell right here across the road and then it is right down there that's one of the big ones Once again, if y'all need any trees cut down, my two son-in-laws are doing them. They'll haul them off, 864-296-3202. I'm Jimmy, but I'll get you in touch with them. Man, don't you look at here in that yard. Look at that. Man, all in these people's yard right there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at that, tore that fence up. There, fence right up. Look at that. Right up North Avenue here. Oh, yeah, there's a big one. Fell down in the backyard of these people here on Kudzu. Kudzu Road. Off of 413. Yeah, that's a big one. Alright, here's another one on Kudzu Road. Off of 413. Look at that. Now it demolished that building. Mm-mm. Throw that up. Oh, Lord. There was a huge one. Thank God it didn't land on the house there. Down here on Kudzu. Road off of 413 and Due West Highway in between here. Unbelievable. They either gonna tear that down, that building, or else. Okay, folks, this is on Sherlane Drive, right off of 29 North, right above the highway department on Sherlane Drive. Look at that. Look at that wood tree. Mm. That was an old one too. Thank God it fell out of the way. It didn't hurt nobody. Okay, y'all. This is uh, up here off of 29. 
before you get to Dazzler's nightclub. It's a little road that turns off. I'll see if I can't find out the road. But anyway, I can't remember that church there either, but it's right here behind the church. But look at there. The old pine tree. Huge pine tree. And you can tell they went across the road. Yep. But I'll see if I can get the name of this road in just a minute. Yeah, somebody been out here cutting. I'm just wondering who's going to cut all this off the county property. I guess they'll do it. The county will, but I bet you it'll take a year or two before they get to it. Hate to say that, but anyway, that's how busy they're going to be. Hmm. Unless the residents, the local people, get out here with chainsaws and get it cut out of the way. Hauled off. Well, don't you know that's a lot of wood people can use, though? For burning in their fireplace. What I would do if I, if uh, if I had time, my back get bad. I don't have time and and uh, a chainsaw, but I'd get out here and ask the people, "Can I have the wood?" And I'd I'd get me a place on the main highway and stack it up, cut it up. Shoot, I bet you make five thousand dollars, maybe more, off of free wood. I've been meaning to stop here. I see that big car you got there. I sell them. Okay. I don't know where you got it, but I, I, I'm I'm be there by the I'm here on you. Let me get my car. Okay. Here's what I do. Here's what I do. Everybody knows me. Uh, I've been here all my life. When you find a customer that needs a car for it or one like that, you get their name. Don't tell them to call me. Let me get my car. Then I give you, I give you money. Yeah. yeah. Don't give them my name. If you call me and get tell me who they are, then I'll go stop. Got it? Okay. okay? Yeah. I hear my name. Check me out. I'll, I'll do all the understanding test department. I'll do all the and I've been in business 23 years, but I can beat, beat that prize on. And we local. We're not way up North Carolina where we're from. There you go. Okay. But like I can say, somebody comes up, you get their name. Like I say, I'm something like that. What, how much you sell it for? I just have to need it. I ain't got, more, I ain't got all my books. I can't do it. But, uh, I can need it. Trust me. Everybody knows I can be there by the truck and say I'm local. Most of these companies that sell these, they come from North Carolina. It didn't take you forever to get one now. Okay. Yeah. Well, what I've been doing, I've been going around giving prices on people's yards with a carport to go by free. That's what I'm doing now. Okay. Keep my car, brother. I, like I said, I'm Jimmy. Okay. You wouldn't have no Emmy Tucker, would you? Marcus Brown, you know home? Yeah, I know Marcus Brown. Okay, I'll go see him. Hey, Ted, would you get a car for it? All in behind his you know home? Yeah. He's my friend. Okay. All right, brother. Thank you.
okay I just found out this is Gentry Drive right off of 29 Gentry G-E-N-T-R-Y and look at here I just pull up above that one look at yonder and those people's driveway look at that all the way across the drive look at that with a tree y'all and there's another one that fell looks like they got three I can see another one right over there look yonder well, if that, if that landed on your car or your house, you wouldn't make it. I wouldn't think you would. And it definitely caved your house in, a mobile home, whatever. I see they got a carport down yonder. That's what I sell, y'all, if y'all need one. For RV, he's got an RV under it. If y'all need a carport or a garage it's with the roll-up doors, I sell them. I've been doing this 23 years. Anderson Carports. Uh, 864 296 3202. Yeah, I'm in the I'm in the book Yellow Pages, so if you can't remember, just if you just remember Anderson Carports in Anderson, South Carolina. Now we go all over North Carolina, Georgia, South Carolina, uh, putting up carports and garages. And uh, those trees there, I've got uh, two son-in-laws. This is mainly what I'm doing for them. Uh, they cut down trees and haul them off. And uh, if y'all need y'all's just cut off, if you know anybody else that needs their trees cut down and haul off, just give me a call at that number, 864-296-3202. And uh, I'll get you in touch with them. Hmm. That's gonna take a while to get that one down off that driveway. Mm. I'm just wondering how they're getting to their home. This is on the driveway, I see. I guess they going through the yard. Yep, I bet they going around the house to get to the house, yep. Okay, folks, this is Gentry Drive off of 29 North. Uh, about a mile above the highway department, going towards Williamson. And that church there, I cannot remember. That church, I know as good as my name. But it's behind this church here. Okie doke. All right, let's see what the next one I get for you. Okay, here's another one at the end of Gentry Drive. Look at that. It didn't hit the road. That's that's good. But you can see it fell in the people's yard. Look at that. That's a huge tree. This is Amity Road right here. Amity Road. Amity runs up to 29 North. And this is the end of Gentry Drive here. Okay, there's another one. Right here on Amity Road. A-M-I-T-Y, Amity Road. And Phyllis Drive. Which is kind of north of Highway 29 North here. I think the name of that church I was trying to think of is... I think it's called Eureka. Eureka Baptist Church. This is where they're down at. Look at that. Slow down, fellas. 35. 35 down through here. They'll get you. He's doing about 60. <laughs> anyway. Look at that. Ooh, I've said this over and over. I have never in my life, out of all my life living here in Anderson, most of my life here, I've never seen trees torn down it's like I've seen here. And that storm hit. Well, this is right here on the corner, as you see there, Phyllis Drive and Amity Road. Now, that looks like it's going to be the county's uh, job there, because it's right, right there on County Road, so I'll guarantee you the county had to take care of that tree. I hope they do. It's 35, y'all. Slow down. It's just, hey, <laughs> y'all listen. Amity Road, they'll get you on this road, buddy. Especially at night. You better do 35, not over 40. And But they'll definitely get you down here on this road. You need to slow down. Let's see how fast they're going. Let's see if I can tell y'all. Okay, they're doing about they're doing about forty. That's good. 
All right. Y'all doing good. Oh, uh, yep, yep. All these cars are doing great. Them other two are flying, boy. Okay, everybody, I'm headed up Edgewood Avenue. Edgewood Avenue. Right here off of North Main Street. But uh, it's, it's bad, so y'all gonna see some bad videos of trees falling everywhere. Look at that in the backyard. Trees cut up everywhere. But uh, I'm down here pretty close to where Edgewood starts, so here we go. I mean to tell you, that storm blew down huge trees. Again, this is Edgewood, Edgewood, E D G E W O O D Avenue in Anderson. Anybody around the uh, north uh, part of South Carolina, northeast Georgia, uh, west part of North Carolina, up to Asheville, we're in Anderson, South Carolina. I've got two uh, son-in-laws that cut down trees. They'd be glad to help you haul them off, cut them down. Uh, they're busy right now, but they they would love to get in line with you and get them cut down for you. They don't charge a whole lot. Call me, 864-296-3202, and I can get you in touch with them. They out of cards. Normally, they give me cards, but they out of cards. They don't give all the cards out. Right here at the uh, corner of Edge, Edgewood and Central Avenue. And uh, boy, look at that. It hit hard here, too. All the way down uh, Central Avenue. Let me see if I can get a picture. Right here, Central Avenue. Look at that. All the way down through Central Avenue. Trees laying on the road and in the yards. All right, we're still on Edgewood. Yeah, this is the worstest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> Not the trees, but this. I said, oh my goodness. Oh, Lord. I hope y'all got better sense. To... You know what I mean. <laughs> now, whoever goes in the office, I'm going to say this. The president, I don't care who they are, we all need to back them. I mean, be behind them, don't be against them, because we're Americans, and uh, that's the way I believe it. Whoever wins, the president, or vice, pre vice president, go ahead and back them, okay? You might not want to, like me, but go ahead and do it. Because the other countries uh, around us, uh, there's a lot of them that don't like us, and they love to see us feud like we do. So it's best thing to let them know that we, we back each other. All right, but look at them trees there, y'all. Unbelievable. Still on edge. Look at that, that now. It rooted it up out of the ground. And one beside the house, so look at that. It landed. Thank God it didn't get the house hard. Look at that. Look at that, that's unbelievable. Still on Edgewood Avenue, y'all. Uh, now they done got a lot of this cleaned up from the other day. I didn't have a chance to get up here, but you wouldn't have believed what I saw. They got most of it cleaned up, but it was terrible. Okay, everybody, I'm right here in the city of Anderson at Cater's Lake. It's more like a pond, but they call it Cater's Lake. And uh, a lot of them blew down right here, too, as you can see, all the way up through there. It went all, probably all the way around. But, man, I'm telling you, it, that storm hit. Uh, let me run down here close to the water and see what I see. 
But if you ever in Anderson, it's, it's a pretty little pond. I don't call it a lake, it's a pond to me. But anyway, once again, it's uh, Cater's Lake. It's a real nice place to come, to sit around, have a little picnic, you know. It's not far from the city downtown, probably about, oh, a quarter of a mile to downtown. It's a pretty, it's a pretty little place. As you can see there, there's one that fell right down looking at They don't cut it up. Yep, you can tell they don't haul it off. There they are, there's the stumps. And then there's another one that fell. And then right across the street, I'll show that in a minute. At, the, at a house, residence place, it, it, it's unbelievable. So I'll get that in just a second. I know one thing, people are going to have a lot of wood for the fireplace for many years. At least three or four years, I guarantee you, they won't have to worry about no wood. Just that one log right there probably last you uh, maybe a month. Just that one there. Once it's cut up. Don't you look here, they don't got them all cut up, but look, these people had two huge trees fell. As you can see there, they've been cut down. But look at that. That's one. And there's another one next to the house here at Cater's Lake. Yep, they don't got about all hauled off as you can see. Now they don't have the stumps left. Now I bet there were pretty trees too. A lot of people uh, have lost their shade trees. It says please call 864 231 2232. To record any problems. Well, everybody, let me go ahead and get close so you can see the, the rules here. And I always try to buy the all rules, which everybody shows. But uh, I don't reckon you can call us a problem, but I was, <laughs> if I call up here, this is what I tell them. I say, hey, that ain't no lake, that's a pond. Uh, come down here and enlarge it. Go up there and tear all that dirt up, up through you and tear them trees down and then you'll have a little lake. <laughs> but y'all come on down and see it. It's a cute little place. And I'm gonna go ahead and call it Cater's Lake, but it's not a lake in my opinion, it's like a pond. All right. Okay now, yeah, right across the street, John, don't you look at that brick house. Man, they have some trees that fell. And I think uh, my daughter's boyfriend's gonna do that. He's gonna cut that down for them. I think she got that job for it. But anyway, look at that. That's about three trees that fell down in that yard. You can see them all gathered up there. I'm gonna go down there and get a close up of it. Okay, I'm getting a little bit better close up of it. As you can see, I say there's about three trail, you know, three trees that fell there, and that's right here on Greenville Street at Hiawatha. at uh, Cater's Lake. Boy, I bet they proud it didn't fall on their home. And I'm pretty sure it fell out in the road, as you can see, I guarantee you, it came all the way across the road there. And they had to cut all that out of the way so the traffic, as you can see, is lower. But uh, I used to help this man cut down trees when I was a young teenager. I, I did it with him for about a year, and I learned a lot about trees. And he would tell me, he was a pro, of course he's dead now. But he would tell me, he said, look, when the storm comes and blows down trees real hard, he said, remember, the other trees that hadn't failed will soon fall. So y'all be aware, just because we don't have no storms and you see them all down on the ground, nope. 
they are standing there trees waiting ready to fall when the next wind hits them they're already loose in other words it looses it looses them up and they just sitting there uh, it, I mean it's dangerous what the city should, should do in county especially on the highways to go around and check all the trees make sure they're, they're not going to fall in the highway and they know how to do that they can pull on them and tell if they if they're strong so they won't fall but I guarantee you that's going to happen and he knew what he was talking about and uh, he said it might take a year before they fall but they're ready to fall so beware y'all of the trees is still standing